Guys, we have new, new merch. merch. You've been asking, so we drop in. Drop in. Why don't we play a trailer that we shot? All seductual. S -sedu Not a word. Gabe, play it. Merch store available this Thursday. StiffSocksMerch.com, linked in the description. Ralph, Wreck-It Ralph. Wreck-It Ralph. Bro, if I was a porn star, my name would be Erected Ralph. That's pretty good. Nothing? God, that's no, it's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, you know uh, when you're two on is when you talk in third person. Or first person. What, 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 what do you mean person, two first on? Person? Two, when, you two. Go, when you're like at a press conference, like, man, Michael Blaustein, you know, he does clips, man. He different. And Michael Blaustein gets views on Eclipse. When you start talking when, to yourself when, in I've third person, no, what I'm Basketball saying is, players do that. Oh my God! When you're super duper on, you wearing sunglasses. What the hell's the point of a press conference? How you guys lost and you got to give a speech about it? Imagine bombing and then you got to wait in the parking lot and tell everybody why you bombed. I mean, dude. I mean, talk, the the fact the fact that these players don't blow their heads off. They, in, they, uh, that pro, it's crazy. And also, nothing gets accomplished ever. Right. Why would you lose? Oh, we scored less points than the I'm other team. I'm hung over and had 14 escorts over. My wife doesn't know. NDA. Next question. Yeah, my balls are empty. Yeah. What am I supposed to do? But like, what is? It's just negotiated in their contract that they got to do a press conference. What is that for? You know what's crazy? It's for me and for people like Jack and for people like Gabe Why? that watch sports. What? I I know it's going to be nonsense. I still watch it. It's also just more TV time that they can just yeah. throw more commercials more ads. in. Yeah. More ads. Before but they like, cut to Modern Family. But I want to watch LeBron talk about why they lost or why they won. I want to, you know, I want to. Crazy. It's it's crazy. It's but never do ever, fun. Do you ever, like, agree with him or you're like, no, nah, that's not why? Nothing he ever has said or any of these players have said very infrequently is any of it fun to listen to. It's fun to listen to when they do press conferences, like, together. Like, if two players are together and they're kind of, like, riffing off each other, then it's fun. You see friendship, it's inside jokes, whatever. And then sometimes they bring their kids on the press conferences. That's always cute as fuck. Like, if... Don't make it fucking epstein -y. <laughs> When they bring their kid and the kid's, like, talking shit, like, Daddy, I got poop. And he's, like, talking to the press I would always bring my kid. Then nobody could be mean to me. Yeah, 100%. It, dude, if you have a kid with you, nobody's ever mean to you. Unless your kid's crying. Well, also that... Do you think... If you have a kid and you know it's ugly, do you think you're going to know it's ugly? No. You're going to be like, this is cute. Yeah. Same reason people have pugs. <laughs> They're going to come for Soft you. Soft laugh. Let's go. No, uh, I take that back. Pug community, I love you. Uh, don't come chasing me. Psych, you can't. Your dog's fat. <laughs> Whoa. Have you guys heard about this rumor going around? I had a pug growing up. Don't come for me. Half pug. Flight attendants are claiming that they use hotel coffee machines to wash their underwear. I heard about this. What are you Talking about. Yeah. Somebody told me to never drink hotel coffee because that's what Jack's doing, first of all. Insane, man. But somebody told me never to drink hotel coffee because they can wash their panties in, like, the top part. Mm -hmm. Yes. So but, but no, 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 no. But there's a shower. There's a tub. There's a sink. What the fuck is the point of washing it in the in the coffee maker? I don't know. It, 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 like, oddly kind of makes dude, sense. Just the look of panties makes me hard. The, the look of panties? No, the look of them. Like, look at the red ones. Imagine on that some fucking badass bitch leaning over brushing her teeth. What'd you say, babe? I'll come. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come. Watching a woman get ready is the hottest thing ever. Like yeah. you think you think watching a woman give you head is hot? Sure. But watching a woman like just like I don't know, just put on makeup in the mirror and just, it's so hot. Yeah, well they blow men out of the water every time. They're like, oh, I'll be right back. Hour goes by. You're like, man, what's taking so long? You walk in, you're like, God damn, that's what's taking so long. You look great. I know they look I put on jeans and half a crew neck. Yeah, sometimes I go on dates not looking, I don't I don't even try. And not because I think too cool. I just like, I don't know, I put on a hoodie, I come up yeah. from a show, whatever. Hoodie on a date? Oh, I stay wearing hoodies on dates. But it's like sometimes after shows or whatever. But mm. my point is, is I I like come to the, the restaurant. And then I'm like, oh, I, I'm under, I yeah. didn't try. But do you think that they look at you and they're like, man, I put on all this fucking work. I, I feel like, like this. sometimes they do. I sometimes I'll comment. I'm like, sorry, I look like shit. I just can't, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I think maybe they're sort of used to, I don't know. I think like 
for a dude to look like shit because it because most men don't super try, you gotta like look like you just came from a tough mutter. Like you gotta look like shit. Well, there's also l- levels to it. It's like you, hmm. it's like a stylist look like shit. Yes. Where it's like you might. It, it's like it could be worse. You see first dates somewhere in, sorry, Midwest for catching strays, but Midwest, flannel, jean shorts, flip-flops. Yeah, motherfucker showing up in a Packers jersey. You're like, <laughs> bro, and, huh? And she's like, what is this? Like, oh, but we won. Yeah. Like, oh, right. Aaron Rodgers doesn't even play for that team anymore. He's on ayahuasca. And he says, go cheese. Could be worse. How? No, no, no I'm saying what you are wearing yes. to the date. Like yes. just and, and as long as you're like maybe color coordinate, black on black. It's yeah, like, yeah. oh, uh, you can go black on black religious if i'm ever just like i don't want to put any thought into something like yeah. a dinner or a drink i'm like okay black and black black and black always looks good what am i doing right now black and black, black, black. Boom. easy i i wonder a day recently to this uh to the like, live music hey, or whatever hey. Hey, to like live music or whatever you are not a real person what do you mean i went to a concert recently no but it, it wasn't like a concert it was like um you ever walk into a restaurant in like the side room they have like jazz or the side oh, room yeah. they have like uh That's you know you salsa or whatever yeah yeah, yeah. Got the tuba out ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah! Dude, if you play trumpet, you can finger a bitch. Act like they can't. You I play think, the I harp? Think, I was just going to say the harp. Dude. Harp, you got to. Have harass. you ever seen a male harpist? Mm-mm. I don't know, but he can finger my mom. Yeah. When was the last time you think your mom came? All right. So this is. <laughs> yeah, so this, I figured this out. So what they, they say that the reason that they would do this in the sink instead of using the coffee pot is the coffee pot. You put the underwear and some soap in the actual pot. Okay. And then you just run the coffee cycle. So you just run hot water through it. Dude, that's so crazy because not only is it disgusting, but it also like runs soap through it. So now you're making coffee and it tastes like soap mm-hmm. and menstrual cycle. Yes. Uh, and they also say, uh, so uh, housekeepers have also uh, come into this discussion and Bro, said like. I would like, love to have a housekeeper on this podcast. There's probably so many good stories. I just want to know, you guys don't change the blankets. There's no way. No. I think they do wash the blankets, though. Well, there's no way. I don't Maybe think. The, the I don't sheets. think there's any way that they don't. You think every room they change the blanket? The big over one. I don't think Bro, that, that that's one not, ever the big over one. I feel like you. I mean, you but, might be right, but, but I feel like you have to. You, yeah, but you're gone. You can't question it. I mean, here's the thing. I ran Airbnb for a while. I'll never change that duvet. Yeah, come, I freshly fucked on, on the duvet, <laughs> spun it around. Said, here's your one bedroom in West Hollywood. So you nutted on your sheets. Yeah, man, I'm not saying I did it right. No, no, on the duvet. Oh, bro, I don't like that. That means every place I've ever stayed is just a cum dungeon. 100%. <laughs> you you think these Airbnbs we set on the road are clean? In my head, they are. But they're not. But yeah, but that's the thing. Also, in hotels, the carts they run to clean everything with, the cart, when have you ever seen more than just sheets on there? You've never seen a blanket on there. Oh, my God, you're right, dude. Maybe. But I just feel like that's it's like... A, do they cover and they like they, the 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 casing on the inside? Man, yeah, I mean, I I I mean, dude, I don't know, man. The more I think about this, the more I'm like, fuck, maybe they don't. But yeah, in so my head, they do. The, the consensus light. seems to be there's some stuff that they clean every day. Like they, they do uh, pillowcases and sheets and like the kind of the the lightweight sheet they'll do every day. Okay, but duvets. Maybe that's why the lightweight sheet is there. That's a condom for your body. I think 100 percent it is. Yeah, but the comforters they do maybe once a week, and the pillows, according to some people, they just never actually wash or replace the pillows. The so actual just, pillows. Yeah, so they just put a new pillow. That's yeah, okay. okay. That's so crazy. You're sharing a pillow with thousands of people. Yeah, like thousands of people. Everybody's had dreams on those pillows. Isn't that cool? Dreams. <laughs> you think dreams are on those pillows? I would poke a hole and fuck it. And call my grandma and tell her your happy birthday. Huh. Dude, I'd be holding, man, I this I've been I've been holding pills recently. What do you mean? Make me feel pills? good. Just like Oh, at night I do it every night. Yeah. It's so sad. I call her Rebecca. I'm like, I miss you, Rebecca. Do the pillow? Yeah. How do you travel with the pillow? Do you still do that? Uh I've done it a couple times, but but the merch bag is too full. I can't fit the pillow onto it. Hey. Hey. All right. Yeah, but you know what I mean? You can't put the pillow and then Yeah. What is this? Can I let me say something real quick? What is this weight thing? That airlines have. Can't be over 50 pounds. Shut the fuck up. It's a dog. I'm doing bitch. <laughs> Is that just... Well, it's one for 50 money. 50 pounds? For money. And then also, that way so you don't bring in, like, I don't know, cement blocks. Pick it up. I mean, 50 pounds, 100 pounds, fine. But what are you flying with that? that's that heavy? It's just merch. Mm. Like, hat, if you bring enough hats, it gets pretty heavy. A lot of hats. Yeah, but it's like, it, it, it always, it's like always like 60 pounds. It's like, it is heavy, but like, why are you going to charge me? 
hundred dollars too much but it's cheaper than shipping it no or yes yeah, yeah that for sure okay but and they always break my bag they've broken two of my bags so far they don't give a fuck i get bag. it wheel gone dude, they shot put that bitch dude yeah one of my suitcases just has a hole in the side like somebody what? kicked it with a steel toe boot here's the thing if i was doing that job i'd do the same thing Yes. I would have fun with it. I'd be like, how many bags can I break today? Shotgun, set, hike, kaboom. Kaboom. And yeah. I, oh, dude, I would have a gun. Well, yeah, they're all built like with some hard shell on the outside. So in their heads, like, well, I can just lug this bitch. Who gives a shit? Is it me or is Zell taking over? Yes and no, but I still like the interface of Venmo so much better. Me Zell too. Just, Zell seems too real to me. Zell? Zell's you like, gotta, got gotta direct go, access. I got to go into my bank app? That's what I'm saying. Then, then they're looking, up, looking at my fucking account It feels too balance. close to home. Yeah. Yeah, they're it like, like they're making it a $1,000. It feels like you're at home, which is your bank, and somebody knocks on the direct door. Venmo seems like you got a, like, a, like an office where you meet at, like where you do like sexual transactions. Yeah, it feels like a P.O. box. Yes, it doesn't feel real. It does, but it, but, but it's like, oh, we're in Venmo land. Let me, like, I, like I have all my notifications turned off for everything. Yeah. And then when I do a lot of shows around town, I forget that a lot of them pay through Venmo. And then I'll like, at the end of the week, pick, oh, I got some Venmo money. Yeah, yeah, it's so a nice surprise. Yeah, Zell, like, I'm like, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Zell's too real. It's too real. And then all, I just. So I was like, what's the last four digits of the number? Bitch, I don't fucking know. I have no idea. I'm buying drugs. Also, they asked for like, I don't even know what the QR code is. <laughs> yeah. and you, then like, you, do you want to you, save a contact? And you're like, Kevin, yeah, foot yeah. job. I got to <laughs> I gotta add a guy. I have to ask a valet what his phone number is. Yeah, it's too much. It's, I don't, it's too yeah, it's what do, you, too, what do you think the funniest way somebody's ever paid for sexual intercourse is? They're like, all right, that'll be $75. Like, I don't have $75, but I have two ficus plants. Oh, oh, like, what oh, do you think oh. is like, the funniest like A to B? Like, I don't have money, but... An antique book? What if, they, or it, what if, they're, <laughs> <laughs> what if they're like, I'll just return the favor. You went down on me, I'll go down on you. They're like, oh, all right. Yeah, I wonder <laughs> if that happened, but it definitely has. Some horned up, horned up prostitute? Yeah. Some guy that just hasn't been well, actual. Nobody's blown worried about like. I mean, like I. I think a prostitute would be happy on that because their their one job is to get whoever their client is off. But nobody's worried about getting them off. Yeah, I'm running for Congress, 2048. I'll vote for you. God damn. Michael Blaustein 2024 tour is going to be nuts. So, guys, uh, January 25th. Oh, Dayton's already sold out. January 26th hey. to the 27th, uh, Columbus, Ohio. Those tickets are Seems a like movie. Need to add another Dayton. <laughs> I think 10 tickets just got released. <laughs> so, oh God, that was funny. February 9th to the 10th, Phoenix, Arizona. Almost all sold out. February 22nd to 24th, I'll be in Ontario, California. That is California, not Canada. Uh, February 28th, Minneapolis, the theater starting. February 28th, Minneapolis. February 29th, uh, Milwaukee. March 1st to the 2nd, I'll be in uh, Chicago. March 8th, I'll be in New York City. New date, new date, New York City. Palladium tickets are moving, so go grab those before you can. March 9th, Atlanta. And guys, go, go, go on my website. Many, many more dates. That is blogcomedy.com. That is blogcomedy.com. Tour dates. I'm writing new material. I got a bunch of LA pop-up shows. So feel free to always check the Hollywood Improv or the Laugh Factory music popping up there. Working on a new shit. But then I'm going to be taking that new hour to Salt Lake City. <laughs> May 30th to June 1st. Miami, Florida. Miss 305. June 21st to June 23rd. Lexington, Kentucky. Don't want to fuck with me. August 15th through August 17th. TrevorWallsComedy.com. More t blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean. Tour more tour dates at TrevorWallsComedy.com. TrevorWallsComedy.com. Warning. Buying these tickets may get you laid. God damn. Podcast is sponsored by none other than me undies, buddy. Gift Who undies? Me undies. Me undies. Gifting is a no-brainer this holiday season thanks to the unmatched comfort and style of me undies. From undies to bralettes to socks, uh oh, stiff, and loungewear. Me undies has the perfect gift for yourself or anyone else on your list, even those hard to gift people. My mom and my sister so hard to buy gifts for. I'm so happy we ran into me undies. Um, they sent me a pair. They sent they us sent a, me pair. a pair too. Buddy, yeah. dude, super clean, super comfortable, all black. I can't wait to take them off. Maybe in front of a woman who I love. Uh oh, uh, did you guys get the ones with the ball pouch too? Yes. Yeah. Oh man, dude, this is next level stuff. I can't wear like boxer briefs without those now. Yeah, because they, they hold them. them. Yeah. Dude, sometimes I'll be jump roping and my balls be clang clanging like Christmas bells. Do you be jump roping? I do. Hmm. Exercise. I'm in body. good physical health. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm messing up, not jump roping. But listen, they stay put, but he doesn't because he's out here. 
Uh, dude, super lightweight. They're breathable, but they don't feel too lightweight. Where like if you got pants, people would see everything. They're they, they're literally like buddy. They regulate invisibility cloak for that stroke. They regulate your body temperature. They okay, do. that is incredible. So. Knock out your holiday shopping today and get 20% off your first order plus free shipping at MeUndies.com slash socks. That is MeUndies.com slash socks for 20% off plus free shipping. How much is shipping? It is free. MeUndies, comfort from the outside in. God damn. Presidency coming up. Buddy. Bro, we got to, like, honestly, have, like, Steve will do it run. Like, I'm sick of these fucking boring-ass 93-year-old candidates. I want a guy whose borderline heart rate might fail from ketamine. Oh, like that. Give me like a Dan yeah. Bilzerian. I want a DJ. Polly D? I'll vote. I want a fun I, I want to I want to vote for like a like a hippopotamus. You can vote for anybody. You can go on the ballot and type in GG. What's your middle you? name? Whoever fixes Instagram Reels, that's all I give a shit about. <laughs> Instagram is the worst app ever. It's so dumb. Is it? I love Instagram. You know what app I don't like? TikTok. It fucking hates me, bro. It hates everybody. What happened? It's all shops. It's all the shopping channel right now. Every three videos, it's somebody like, oh, the sour gummy Bluetooth Skittles. Shut up. Why is Show my video me bombing? Funny video. Remember when whores used to run TikTok? <laughs> I'm serious. You would swipe through, you'd be like, tits, 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 Dude, tits, it's like, BMX, it's like, tits, like it's, tits, it's frustrating BMX. to scroll. Where like, are the tits? Is, is, is this your guys' feed too? And I know they're going extra hard because it's December and it's like a buyer month, but they're trying to turn it into Amazon, but it just feels like I'm on the fucking Hallmark channel. Just show me some funny shit and maybe a tit or two. I want to see how to fix my slice and tits. Twitch is the new tits place to go. Have you guys seen the video of the Twitch streamers? What? I heard about this. I so, didn't see it. Yeah, so I think you need some context on Twitch. Like, so... 30 million people, uh, there's 30 million daily active users on Twitch. At any given time, there's 3 million what? people watching Twitch. So, like, Twitch is huge, right? There used to be this thing on Twitch uh, that they would call, quote-unquote, hot tub streams. So, like, oh, I know those. Only, OnlyFans girls like and, that. like, models and stuff would do a thing where they would go on Twitch, and then they would just, like, be dressed scantily yeah. clad, and they would rack up the views and rack up the money, I right? Do you so think, many times when I did that. Do you think people are, were jerking off to that? I think that probably I think a fair number of off them to this were. podcast. I, I know Somebody they do. right now is having sex with us in the background. I think we have pretty soothing voices. Not yeah. me. You definitely do. So these these streams got so popular that Twitch, and, and people got so mad about it, that Twitch had to end up creating a whole new category for streams on Twitch, literally called like hot tub stream. So you could still do it, but like it was getting... Whore tub stream? There we go. Title. Hot rub and tub. Hot rub and tub. Hot rub and tug. Hot rub and tug tub. But they... Uh, they had to make this whole new channel because that that's everyone was super horny. They just wanted to watch these hot tub streams. Yeah. So now people are keep trying to evolve it. And so this girl uh, went viral on OnlyFans or on uh, Twitch this week. This is what she did for her whole stream. Well, what is it? Where? What? Um, where is she? She's I just streaming somewhere, probably in her house. But the whole she's idea like a is laser like laser tag arena. Like there's too many people doing yeah. this hot tub stream. So now she's just like, I'm going to show as much tit as I can without showing a nipple. And uh, I mean, she's cool. doing great. <laughs> she's doing honestly great. Yeah, you better hope you don't sneeze. I'm gonna be honest, dude. I bet you her forehand is crazy. <laughs> yeah, she looks like she could definitely dunk on me. Yeah, she looks like her javelin would be like four football fields. Yeah, this is how I'm gonna do my Zoom calls from now on. <laughs> <laughs> this is how I'm gonna do my special. It's just one tab away to go to Pornhub or to go to her OnlyFans. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, I don't get why everything people now watch seems this. like foreplay for Pornhub or browsers. It's like everything is foreplay for jerking off. Yeah, like the eight, like going. Ugh, I keep saying A to B, but like you go to like. TikTok, you're like, well, I guess what's after this? You go to Instagram, find my spicy link. How much spicy are we going to get? There's so many links. Yeah, I'm sick of it, dude. You go to Zillow now, motherfuckers. Like <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what would you, how would you direct people to get to your OF if you had one? I would do the same thing, but cover the whole of my dick. But like you're on your Instagram story. What are you saying? Oh. What's the, what's the tap on the link going to say? Mm-mm, girls. Daddy Cakes is here. That's such a long title. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> but you know they all do like the the chili emoji and then the the, the like the paper clip or like the link. Uh huh. Like what are you doing? What are you saying? If you're tired of big penises, click this link. I would maybe be like free Tesla. Click here. That's pretty good. And it's not. It's, it's not free Tesla. It's me. Spread eagle. Your first OF video, and you can't do anything funny. Your first one. What are you doing? Out the gate. If you're like yo, I, I need I need current day. Uh, let's say, let's say, uh, no. 
Let's say everything. I'm just trying to give you. I'm trying to give you a scenario. Because if it's today, I'm doing a Christmas drop. I'm doing all naked Santa hat over the dong. Yeah. And painting my balls like two elves. Is it going to be a video or are those going to be pictures? Live photo. <laughs> live photo. Dude, I'm you ever get a new that's a live photo? Bro, that's just exciting. It. It's so exciting. It's a oh, boomerang. Oh, it's so hot. I actually love though. The problem is I can't get one off. With, if it's, it's like she's like I'm fucking in. and I, the funny thing is I don't I don't think she what, ever knows that it's live. No, but here's what you can do: uh -oh. live photos. If you put them on your Instagram story, they turn into boomerangs. So you put it as a boomerang, then you save that video. This is the most horny thing I've ever oh, heard bro, in my life. That's, that's common knowledge. You're a fucking horny 007 guy. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's real shit. Look, take a live photo right now, put it on your story, and then hold it down, and it'll boomerang. Then you can download it. Now you got a loopa, loopa, do a loopa. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I'm doing a video off top. Okay, POV, ring camera, or talking. Yeah, well, let's see what would be the hottest angle. Yeah, I think I, you? I think I would. I think I would just start like on my face, and then just and just slide and just slowly slide it down, and then stop right before you see the dick, and then just take baby oil and just squirt it, so oh, it okay. so it slides down. And then I'm your trying to get motherfuckers. Horn yes, <laughs> yes, and then right before the reveal, it just cuts into my face. <laughs> Do you, do they do shit like this? So I know on OnlyFans you gotta buy certain videos to like keep watch like keep watching other videos, but do they do it where it's like you can watch until right up until like the final shot? Oh. It's like a paywall. That would be that would drive smart. people insane because so many people just finish to the paywall. They do they do that on fucking Pornhub. Like let me see the guy come. <laughs> like how am I supposed to come when I don't come in the video? Am I making sense here? Yeah, total. Yeah, I'm a POV. That's my dick. I want to come on that lady. Mm -hmm. But if you don't come in that lady, I don't come in that lady. Now I got to go to your fucking OnlyFans? No. CGI. Dude, they always show that. And no? What? On the hub, they always show that. Not if it's an OnlyFans video. Those are my favorite ones to watch. Because they're like, it's, you know, supposedly a little uh, real. Well, yeah, because they know, they know what you want. Yeah. Speaking of OnlyFans, did you guys see the thing about Ruby Rose, the OnlyFans model, last I week? I saw parts of it. This is an what is insane this? story. So this Ruby um, Rose is hot. The uh, yeah, this model Ruby Rose posted on Twitter. This she said, "I ran into my number one spender on OnlyFans," and so here's a picture of her and him together, and then here's a screenshot. The, guy runs the fuck out of a dab shop. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. So you can see on the screenshot, he has spent sixty two thousand three hundred and twenty one dollars and seventy cents on her. Up. What a great bio. Crypto whale looking for a queen. Short, condensed. Yep. I love it. Oh, um, wow. So he's bagged out. Bagged out on crypto. Um, and it started as just like a, okay, simp, like, spent has a bunch of money, like, innocent, just like. Bro, this tweet has 134 million views. Yeah. Also, Jeez. look at her. She won't even, she's not even, like, she looks even uncomfortable in the picture. You know what but I mean? Like th that. Yes, because think about. Yes, think about the mentality. He like behind worships someone. her, and now it's like next to you. You're like low key, like is is this okay? Is this yeah. safe? And it turns out that it's not. He gets scared, oh. so she does a follow up tweet here with um, screenshots of like his messages, oh, and no. he's like all this insane stuff. Um, he offers to give her like a, I think a hundred thousand dollars in Bitcoin if she oh, just responds read to these. a text. Did responds you... to a text? Yep, I'll respond to anyone's text for a hundred thousand dollars in Bitcoin. Doesn't matter. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, so it's just like, uh, no, like let's read some of these. Are yeah. Oh, he's going all caps. Yeah. Never go all caps. Ruby, Ruby, stop ignoring me. I cherished every second I was with you. I adore you. You are the reason I wake up every morning. I have no purpose without you. You are my rock. Me to my cat when he ignores no. me. No, <laughs> he's not. She's not his rock. She's his but Ruby. I so I think I saw this video. I Crushing. think I didn't hear it. What was it? Oh, uh, Ruby the Rock. All right. Uh, uh, and then, uh, so after that screenshot she took, he spent thirty thousand more on her just in that time frame because he was so happy to meet her. But there's, I think she like tats the name. Yes. Oh, this one. This is. I will send you ten Bitcoin right now if you answer me. That's worth almost four hundred k. Please, I need your attention. I need to make sure that my kitten is safe. Oh, kitten and made of my cat. <laughs> and then a screenshot of Bitcoin being up right now, dude. That's what would sound. <laughs> that's what. Yeah, Bitcoin that's, is booming. It's I like up, that. And then it's down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I like and, this guy. And now. then she ta he tats her face on his leg. Yes, I have a surprise to show you my commitment. I know you will love it. It's almost done. I can't wait to show you. What is this guy's end goal? I, it, it, like he does he for real think that they're gonna like be together? I yeah I don't know. I mean, what's the but that's the thing mentality with, of any of these with guys the online stuff? Uh, is like yeah. whoever was chatting to him in the first place, he fell in love with that. Yeah, 
And now it's feeling like rejection because mm -hmm. they were typing for probably months. He falls in love mm -hmm. and I was just not get it, getting ghosted. But yeah. why But why isn't the person that does her OnlyFans responding to him? Because they're probably creeped out. Yeah. They're probably like, we'll, we've gone too far. And this is her actual cell phone number. So sometimes they do, somehow they do have each other's number. So I don't know how that happened. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, you're right. Like he probably thinks that he has been talking to her on OnlyFans all this time, like real shit, right? It has a connection. And he's like, I mean, clearly like he's not doing well. Like this guy seems like he's pretty. Uh, uh, yeah. He's in love, it, you know? Love makes you do <laughs> silly things. Dude, love is hilarious. How do I find love like this? Can you imagine though you wrote all this, did all this, and your name in her phone is Brandon, weird OF fan. No. Tough. You know what's even worse is when you look at a, a girl's phone and your name isn't saved. Oof. God damn. Listen up, guys. You know what we're doing merch right now. We're using Ship Station to do it. Why else? Because there is no other way to do it besides Ship Station. Because whether you're shipping from your house, multiple warehouses, house, Ship Station uh, can increase <laughs> your holiday profitability. What is Ship Station? Okay, it is easily automated shipping tasks and manage orders and returns in one simple dashboard. We have done many merch shops. We always do Ship Station. It is incredible. The interface is awesome, dude. It is effortless integration everywhere you sell online, including Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Shopify, and more, dude. It manages orders, prints labels, compare rates, optimizes every shipment and automates delivery notifications. It is awesome. We use it, and so should you. So get discounts up to 84% off USPS and UPS rates. This is huge. Go do it, okay? So let your customers shop risk-free this holiday with ShipStation. Go to ShipStation.com. Use code SOCKS. That is code SOCKS today, and sign up for your free. How much money is that, buddy? Free, free trial. Free. 60 day. Crazy. Free. You know what's free? Zero. Huh. Zero, zero, zero. That's insane, zero. dude. Zero. That is ShipStation.com. Code Socks free 60 day trial. God damn. You don't be saving numbers. I don't save numbers. Why? I don't, I don't, I don't, because you know why? Because, uh -oh. because I just feel like rumble mode activated. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just feel like you're going to be here today, gone tomorrow. <laughs> That's not true. Why the fuck am I wasting gigabytes on you? I know your name, Bro Cheryl. Bro will fall in love with a whole ass AI robot, <laughs> but, but won't the, save an AI robot's name. Here's the thing, though. I, I, you know, not that me liking you some big fucking prize, but I think like if you look at my phone and you're saved in my phone, you're like, oh, Bro, all right, I'll I must mean fucking, something to this I'll guy. I'll save a Craigslist man on my phone. I don't give a shit. Nothing. I'd be having, dude. I have to Mark scroll. Futon. I have to scroll to the top sometimes of conversations just to know who I'm talking to. He talk, he talk, he talk, I want to be It's okay, but like you know. You're like, someone say, hey, what's that. going on? I feel that. You're like, I have no idea who this is. It just, it just hurts when it happens to you. Oh, it's happening to me a billion times. Because it's cool on your end. You're like, ah, shit, ah, just be moving. So, ha, ha, new phone, who does? Yeah. Also, nobody gets a new phone ever really anymore. Like, you do, but like, when you're like, hey, sorry, just got a new phone. Who is this? That doesn't exist anymore. iCloud's like, you, you know? You know who this is. It's yeah. connected. It's connected. I think a lot of people switch numbers, though. They switch numbers, but if you just get a new phone, it's... Oh, back, it can't be new. Back in my day, when you get a new phone with Verizon, you'd be like, yeah. they'd be like, what new number do you want? Same one, ho. I've had my same number for, I mean, 15 years. Isn't that funny? Somebody who you, like, literally, like, went to college with, you, like, shared, like, one chemistry class with, they could just hit you up and be like, tickets to Tennessee? Dude, sometimes you do... I mean, I know you do. You get, I like, get random FaceTimes from... Weird, like, weird... I get... I, dude, I get uh, FaceTime or two, not a lot, but I get a lot of weird texts. From yeah. like people that are like, oh, you know me. I'm like, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think I do. Uh, yeah. Well, well, well the, the thing is, sometimes you just get a blank text that means nothing. You're, you're like, I wouldn't respond to this even if I knew you. They'll just be like, Trevor. And I'm like, yes. All right. Oh, you respond. No, no, no. Oh, but mentally yeah. I'm like, or the worst, and I hate when somebody doesn't give like a, something for me to like, like they required me to follow up. Someone was like, yo. And I'm like, nope. <clears throat> no. What, what? What? Yo. What? Yo. Wanted to have you, blah, blank. D give me something. Cause then I just yo yo sup sup. All right. What? Where's this going? Or just say like what are we, pen pals. Yo, write to me. Yo, it's blank. Something. Give me a context. But, but at even all. on like Instagram, people who like it obviously shows their account. We'll just be like yeah. yo, and I'm like, where does where does yeah yeah yes. It's like I, where, like I don't know. No no no, dude. I I think you're totally just give right. Give me some. Yeah, I think I think here. you're totally right. It's like it's like you knock on the door and you open the door, and you're like, "What's up?" And they're like, "Yo, yeah, why are you at my door?" 
You're saying yo, cool. Yeah, but and just like, then what? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Just give me right out the gate what you're looking for. Someone with a weird number asked me how big my dick was. That was me. Well, <laughs> uh, but did it say like yo, Michael? No. Oh, here we go. It said, "Bro, is it big and long?" Question mark at 1:29 p.m. Too early to send oh, yeah. that text. And then one day later, question mark. <laughs> you gotta respect. Do they send, emphasize it or send the question mark? Send the question mark. I love that. And then 7:48 p.m. Just like, hey, hey, you didn't ever responded. Uh, just bump this to the top of your threads. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe also, he should have tried that. The Twitch guy. Also, bro, starting to bro, funny, trying to dominate me. Yeah, well, it's also just like the homie. Like that'd be like me texting you, like, bro, is it really that big? Yeah. Is like, it big and long? Well, you got. I should have responded. My hot dogs. What? What are we talking about here? Big and long. No. Send him it on point five. I should have. I should have sent back. No, it's tiny and dado. Somebody reached out. So there's. Have you heard of power slap? It's it's yes. it, it's like an offshoot of UFC, yes, but it's like these yep. slapping champions. So I was looking at the page, like, dude, this looks legit. Like it looks like some UFC shit because it's backed by UFC. And then you go to the guy's personal profiles; mm -hmm. they all have like seven hundred followers. Oh <laughs> no, really? <laughs> like it's just it's just guys who are like really good at hitting people, and they're just like, hey, maybe let's get some money for this now. But, but how do you? A, but the the question is, how do you know that you're really good at slapping people? You went to jail for it. There you go. But 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 look at these. So the account has like two million followers. So you think it's like. It's a legit thing, and then you like go to their page. Bro, why does it look like there's bacon soda on his face? Oh fuck! Well, no. Here, go to go to. No, just no, 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 no. Why is his face? Because he got hit. Oh, go to like a random man, I think one. It's swelling up. It's just so funny about such a like national thing back by UFC, and then it's just just some regular dude who just fucked people up in Little Rock, and then was like, oh, I could slap somebody. But they invited me to this event. I'm like, well, you, what, I'm going to fly somewhere to watch people get slapped? And the answer is yes. Yeah. Where, I'll fucking where, go. Where are all these events? Vegas. Generally? Maybe Vegas. Vegas, Vegas, yeah. Yeah. Vegas. And they stream them on Rumble. They stream on Rumble? Yeah. That's the most on-brand thing ever. Dude, he gets a real good spin. He has a good hit. I'll mobility. just read haiku poems with lo-fi music on Rumble and see how much shit talk people happen to me. That all was a it. crazy sentence. Shit talk people happen to me. Yeah, professional power slap striker, a thousand followers. That's right. It's like so it's like these guys just like could fuck you up, but it's just like if these guys yeah, he has his frat letters in there. Great. How did this guy get it in the the fight slap com he slapped one guy Drugs. at a DSP party and then they're like, Cool, you're fucking in. A five. Yeah, this guy fucked somebody up at Kansas and then yeah. now he's just beating people's ass. I think he also probably like really good at like shot put or something. Is it all like the some, same yeah, fucking but some hit? Some dudes have big hands. Like you ever Yes, you ever shake it, somebody's hand it and it so, engulfs me. It makes me so dude, sad. My hand feels like a fucking bacon wrap hot dog after I'm like, God damn it, dude, you engulfed me. Yeah. Um. Anyways, I, I don't know. I was just watching. Carrots. It was like a deep dive in three in the morning, and I was like, Bro, what? Like, these so guys are funny. doing like full blown like 8K professional videos, and you're like, What is this? How do they win? Just like the last dude up. I are think there they, weight like, they classes? This uh, is not so, bro. Of course, monster sponsoring dude. this. I mean, but but it's like shot like a UFC show and everything. Like they yeah. have the money behind it. They yeah. train for this, dude. Imagine being his roommate. You're like, hey man, you left some dishes on, and then he just pulls out his oh his, his hand. fucking catcher's mitt of a hand. You're like, you know what? I'll do it. I would keep it in a holster, just as my hand. Yeah, just like this. What's good? Imagine fingering a woman with that. You could be in the other room. <laughs> So this guy Garrett is one of the most popular people on that page. Like, right. He's like the head, like maybe like was but going like to his, the heavyweight like title. His page looks so legit. Fire eyes photos, fire videos, uh, but just nobody watches it. Yeah. Is it disrespectful if I say his girl's hot? No, he might right. slap the shit out of you, but true. Dude, he would legit it's slap the worst shit way out to get of knocked me. out. Is get slapped and not hit. Oh, I'd much rather get punched. Yeah. If I'm at a bar and some dude pushes me and then slaps me in the face and I get I go unconscious, you have to move states. You can't stay in the state. You gotta move. <laughs> yeah, it is funny how there's like a referee. It's like he either gets knocked out or gets knocked out. Nina, my girl. Do you guys see this? Woman who threw burrito bowl at a Chipotle worker is sentenced to six months in jail and two months work at a fast food restaurant. And? She, has to, she has to work at Chipotle wait, again? Wait, you get and that's like when your car gets towed and you get a parking ticket at the end. 100%. Yeah. That's, dude, you're getting double fucked. Hold on. Double she, meat, double fucked. Did she work there? Yo, you're getting double meat in this job. Fucked in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> does she? Does she work at Chipotle? No, no. She threw a bullet at somebody working there. Now it's your prison time, and then gets out of prison, and then has to go serve. Also, okay. imagine is it the same restaurant that she threw the bullet? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Chipotle. But here's here's my question though. Dude, that's a better slap fight than anybody. Here's my Put question. Put them together, the shifts. 
I don't think anyone's asking this. What did the employee do to get a bowl thrown at him? They said, let me get a little more extra steak. And then she's like, that's going to be double. Dude. News. I'm sure it's on TikTok. I just hate when the news adds their spin to it. And they never give you the full video. And they never riff on it. They're like, yeah, tonight at 7, Chipotle worker hit by a bull. Make a joke. Do something. Yeah. And how come everyone but, does a dude, news named Barbara? Imagine if right before. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Every, no one's got a cool name. Everyone's like Nobody Sarah named Barbara. Xander dropping news. Yeah, but Malcolm. Like, what would you say right before he threw, threw this ball? I'd be like, I got an extra scoop for you. Boom. Decked. I'd be like, it's party time, bitch. And <laughs> just throw it. Not no, no relation to Chipotle? Nothing. <laughs> Sour cream is extra. That would be my uh, cool Oh, quote. what about this? Queso for your cabeza. Boom. Not bad. I got, you about to catch a queso with this queso. Good. Title. Title. <laughs> you find it? Nothing? Yeah, I think I found it. Hold on. Frick go. yeah. God damn, man. It's nothing Who is this it. judge? Dude, six months? That's a long time, six, dog. But, but also, very considerate. Like, yo, you have a job f- coming fresh out of prison? Thank you. I don't know if they're getting paid, sir. I think it's community service. Okay, well, I'm definitely not scooping good, good portions of them. Dude, working. six Go months is crazy. This one's also news, though, so we just got to stop it as soon as it's done. I don't okay? give a shit. Bro, what a hilarious sentence. Six, I think we're missing the six months in jail. Dude, I'm going to go fight somebody at a Bugatti dealership. <laughs> oh, great. Now I have to work here. Cool. Employee discount. Yeah, did she get paid? You, I, you have I, to, right? Legally? Uh-huh. Wait, play it again? Dude, I need to know why she threw it. Play, start from the beginning. There's no context to this video. I need everyone with lobs. She kind of blocked it pretty well. Yeah. I don't think that's worth six months of jail time. That's what I'm saying. Nah. Something must have... Might be worth extra, though. Also, it seems like more of a punishment to the employees here to have to go, uh, like, work with her for two months. Yeah, it's hilarious. I don't think she's working at fucking Chipotle. Yeah, but even any Chipotle, she pulls up, everyone's, like, just quivering. Like, <laughs> well, you, you don't have to work Saturday if you if you don't want. Dude, she should do power slap. She, is it a guy? she did. <laughs> so, wait, good, good. <laughs> it's called guacamole. What? <laughs> I don't get the joke. I don't either. <laughs> It's too hot in here, man. God damn. Oh, no. Someone's at my door. Is it Santa with a new box from HelloFresh? Today's podcast is brought to you by HelloFresh. They are incredible. Ask me if I have a girlfriend. No. <laughs> this is incredible for when you're single and you're with someone. But what I'm saying but is... That how you get a girlfriend is by that's treating her nicely and it making is, her meal. This is great for a date night, okay? They send you pre-portions, freaking menus. And it's not like, oh, maybe some burgers. No, they are incredible, incredible meals. It makes you feel like a freaking chef. I've learned so much from doing this okay i and it and what you always say dude it doesn't send you a pound of paprika it doesn't send you what shit you don't need it's pre-portioned it's incredible okay so it also it makes hosting this holiday a joy rather than hassle with the help of hello fresh flex on your co-workers everybody oh we got shake shack cool congrats you did nothing but now you get to show up and you got like a little bit of a thai chili curry chicken stir fry and i was yeah. like oh, oh i'm sorry who are you fucking yeah. Boomst. Wolfgang Puck, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Let me get that Wolfgang suck. Dude, I'm telling you, I, we've both done this and it's legit we phenomenal. We do this. It's so <laughs> easy because you don't, like, dude, you don't have to measure. They just give you the pre portion. Half cup paprika. Oh, I, I don't have a cup. It's in a package. And we both live alone. Yeah. And I make one meal, and guess what? I have leftovers the next day. Next day. And it dude, they send you, and it's super, it's like, it's in, and I've done this before. They send you like the bags of the ingredients. Yeah. So it's like this, this lunch bag is this meal. This lunch bag is this meal. Sometimes I'll be switching to swapping. Uh-oh. So I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go off script real quick. Oh shit, off-roading? So, yeah. So I'll take like the beef they gave me and the chicken they gave me and then some like lemongrass sauce. And I'm like, I'll make it my own. God damn it, jambalaya. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm trying new shit. 
I love it, dude. So where do you get it? We will tell you. Go to HelloFresh.com slash socks free and use code socks free for free breakfast for life. That what? is right, ladies and gents. Free breakfast for life. One breakfast item per box while subscription is active. That's free breakfast for life at HelloFresh.com slash socks free with code socks free. Dude, HelloFresh, America's number one milk it. God damn. Dude, why do cops go, dude? Do you, do you know why I pulled you over? I'm going to snitch on myself. It, it's the same thing, IRS. How much do I owe you? You already know, bitch. Bro, I just want to, I want to, that's what I want on this podcast. The CEO of the IRS be like, yeah. what do you do with your money? You know what I'm sick Where of? Where does it go to? It just if goes a, to the iCloud. If a cop comes to me, do you know why I pulled you over? I'm just going to reach for his gun. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> do not do that, dude. You'll have to do fucking six months in jail and work at Chipotle. I would love to work at Chipotle. I would be the fucking chillest guy there. Dude, I'd be do doing you think heaps. I'd ever charge you for case for a fucking Glock? How did like are, is is a manager watching you be hey, two biggest scoops. You know what I love? Dude, when, when they I hit the shimmy and a couple of pieces fall off. Bro. You know what my favorite thing is? Is when I go to Chipotle and like a mom aged woman is working there, I know I'm getting fucking hella meat. You think? Yes. Why them? Because they're used to giving heaping spoonfuls to their children. Yeah. They're Sometimes like generous. I go in there and I act like I'm cold and they give me more. I'm like, ah, oh, can I just do a little asada? Oh, yeah. I just go, can I have some more? Yeah. But if you get like some of my hands out. <laughs> you get a, if you get a lady who's like 45, 50, you're getting extra. Bro, I'll never forget that guy in Stanford, Connecticut. Oh, yeah. <sighs> I love that club. Well, um, Chipotle. I thought it, it, when I first saw the headline, I thought it was six months or to six months in jail or work at a Chipotle for two months. I'm and like, it's damn. crazy. I'm like, how bad is this work at Chipotle? Yeah. But I, can someone answer me like, what happened? Why did she throw the whole bowl? Did it say? Uh, that the video Nothing is worth getting worked up over at a job of any food residence. Have you ever been that close to like wanting to throw? Yes. Food? Really? Where? 1,000 times. I don't do it, but how so about, many have times. Have you ever like popped off? Yeah. No, I'm not like that. No, that's crazy. Well, it's also funny because she spent fourteen dollars on the bowl, and now it's all over an employee. And she's still hungry. She's so hungry. Imagine she just does like Postmates and walks in there with like a fake mustache. She's like, uh, <laughs> order for Sandra. Yeah, that's also funny. It might even not even her bowl. What if she was working at Postmates? What's worse to get hit with a bowl or a burrito? Bowl. Burrito. Bowl's more of a mess. Burrito's just a thud. Yeah, but burrito's fun. It's like getting knocked out. Hey. If you hit a motherfucker with a burrito hard, out. Bro, when you first learned that you could put anything in a burrito, it was almost like a challenge. Like I went to Chipotle and be like, "Ain't no way they can do this," and then, and then it's just a, just a dodgeball. I used to hate Chipotle. I used what to happened? hate the way they're like they were just big, and I couldn't wrap my mouth around it. I just grown to love it. I liked it. I felt like a little chipmunk. You, you know what I actually love though? It, well, I learned to what to put in there to fit my own mouth. Uh, well, well the first three so much rice. I like I rice go, in the bowl. Yep. You get extra rice in the bowl. But yes. you just learn how to order properly. Correct. But the first three times you go to Chipotle, I'm so overstimulated. I'm like, one of everything. Oh, yeah. And then I love Put to- your employee in there. I love to watch them try to wrap it. Yeah. They do it, dude. You know when they're about to fuck it up, they do it all quick. Like when they know it's not going to fit. Yep. And they just go like, they look around, they look left, they look right, and flip it up. You're like, I saw you. I saw it. Then you open it and the lettuce it's is just on the side. all like, over my ah. fucking, yeah, just all over my goddamn lap. Sick of it. So they did. She does say, like, literally, she threw it because it wasn't right. She said it looked really bad. Dude, I feel that's that. insane. No, no, no. I feel that sometimes you're halfway through the bowl creation, and that's why I don't like this glass. I can see when they're fucking it up, and I go, "Oh man, I wish I didn't see this." You're you're watching them fuck it up in live time, IRL, and you got to go like, "Oh, you can't put the sour cream back." Now I got a fucking soup bowl. Let me get back there. They're not doing anything that I couldn't do. Dude, that's what I'm saying. Every restaurant should be like Fuddruckers. Bro, uh, uh, yeah, they should hand, have hand Chipotle the chicken, acoustic version. Let yeah, me in that bitch. And let me just do it. Would you pay an extra $5 if you can make your own bowl? Yes. Yeah. Because I would crush it. They should do it like Yogurt Land, where it's just by weight. Oh, That's I a like great that. idea. I like that. They could make some for real money. Some dumbass kid. Because think about kids. Oh, go make your little bowl. You know how kids play like Fruit Ninja and rack up a check on their parents' mm -hmm. your, your iCloud account? You could do, you could do that at Chipotle, mm -hmm. dude. I always remember my, Chipotle going, have it your way. Going to a a Cold Stone Creamery with my brother Fucking love for Cold the first Stone. time and just like so overstimulated about that you could put literally anything on it. Yeah, that motherfucker ordered put a, a 40, forty five dollar ice cream and then hated no. it because it was way too much. But uh, yeah, what, what, what did he get? It was literally everything. It was like Cold okay, I could do I could good. do gummy bears, chocolate chips, 
I can yeah. do, uh, you know, Miata. oil crumbles. I can do a Mazda Miata Fucking in there. an orphan foot. <laughs> <laughs> that seems like the one place you could be like, put my Swiss Army knife in there in the back. All right. Cool. Dude, Dude, Swiss Army knives are fire. They're I'm so getting, great. I'm going to get another one. I love another them. one? I had one as a kid. Oh, my dad, dude, my yeah. dad gave it to me. He's not real, but my dad gave me one yeah. for like my birthday or something. Mom was so pissed. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. everything had a dude, corkscrew. Swiss Army knives are such a good like. Do you have a wine open at your house? I just got one, buddy, as a gift. If somebody gave it to me. I don't drink wine like that. I don't either. I had a lady over, and we were we had to look. Or we had to go on YouTube to see the fucking hacks to open it up. <laughs> dude, we were using. There was a hack where you take what'd a. You, what'd you end up uh, with? Lighter. With lighter. Heat it out. It heated out. Didn't work. Then I just took a screw and I screwed it into the bitch. And then took a hammer, blah blah blah. No, at that, that point, like work. at that point, it's just like it, it, you feel like an idiot. Yeah, you know what we ended up doing? Shoving the cork in all it, the way in, in and it. then you're drinking it with the yeah. little pieces, and in it, it tastes like shit. That's well, I, that's I mean, the classic college. You brought yeah. a girl over on Wednesday, and you're like, oh, date night. You took her to Buffalo Wild Wings. Shut the hell up. But you also, I you feel like there. I feel like after prison. not in. <laughs> I feel like not an adult. Buffalo Wild Wings is so fucking good. How come we didn't get that? I feel like not an adult when someone comes over and goes, "Hey, do you have?" And I'm like. Oh, I don't. Oh, bro. I, I, I have I wanna, one utensil of everything. I, I want to be one... the guy that has all the stuff. Yeah. Like, I feel like an adult. Like, oh, you need wine? I have wine glasses in. Here's the thing. Well, it's frictionless. It's smooth. You got a bottle of wine. Let me get a wine opener. Now, yeah. within 10 seconds, do you have wine? Ta-da. Here you go. I like Seductive. To, I like to be the guy that has all the drinks. Like, I don't want to be like, oh, we, I have water and I have... Yeah, I'm, I'm, and I'm, have I'm like middle ground on that. I'm, I'm like... I I never buy alcohol. It's only alcohol that like brands or like people have sent me. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, I got a spicy margarita mix, a peanut butter whiskey, and a Merlot <laughs> from O3. So, but it's like it looks cool optically. Then you see what it is, and you're like, eh. yeah. Yeah. No, I think I have one bottle of like normal tequila. I, just, I like to open the fridge, and I like when there's like different types of like uh, soda water, and then I also have like some Red Bull, and I have like you know I have like bottled water and like Fiji, and like I just I, oh all right. I want my shit to look Fiji? like like a Seven Eleven. Yeah. I feel cool. My shit looks like trash now just because of traveling. But like when I was back for a little bit, I love to just stack it with like yeah. even like shit I don't even drink, like orange juice and whatever. Cause I just like to open Gotta it. It, it literally looks it looks like I'm at a Wawa. It's variety. It's like this guy's got his life together. My life together. I like to feel like my place oh, is bro, always up. fucking clean and I have things for people if they come over. Yeah, and you also come on the ground, so it's never really clean. But when I see like four yeah, coconut waters the in the fridge, I'm like, oh my bad. Oh, is this Costco? Yeah, Did you uh, want a box to go? Dude, coconut water, un underrated. I love it. It's unbelievable. It's Are you, uh, you you like a lot of pulp, right? In your orange juice? Pulp in your orange juice. But coconut water, get that shit out of there. Oh, get it. Get it out of get here. Get those little white How nut. do you feel about aloe water? Not bad. It feels too candy like that. Ugh. It doesn't feel like it's doing anything to me, but it, I don't know. Is aloe a cactus? Yes. Really? Mm -hmm. How come they don't call it cactus water? Bro, I had a fire idea. <laughs> and I want to, I almost don't even want to say it because I think somebody's going to trademark it. This is me trademarking it. Somebody's going to take it. I'm pissed. It's such a good idea. I can't, I really hope no, this no, is no, a bad this, idea. No, it is. It's a terrible <laughs> idea. Hear me out. People love nostalgia, right? Mm -hmm. We're doing, we're doing water in, in cardboard boxes. Why? Because we miss the milk carton days, Mikey. We miss the milk carton days. Okay. What do we all drink out of as a kid? The hose, hose water. It's a water bottle, and the top is a hose spigot. Oh, shit. Fire. Yes, and it has the kind of copper taste. That yes. The, oh. This might be a million-dollar idea, Trev. It, it's a billion-dollar idea. I don't even know if we should leave that in. If somebody <laughs> takes it, I'm no, going to be pissed. No, we leave it in. I think it's safe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm fucking... So, what, what, would, what would you pitch? You know what I pitched for real? Which I actually Bro, thought... Bro, hose water is fire. Which I actually thought you were going to say. And all it, friends can be like, what hose that? I would pitch, you know, when we were kids and we drank. Maybe I don't know West tits? Coast. Well, yeah, I don't know West Coast did, but East Coast kids uh, in Bro, school. Stanley's were tits for kids. Excuse me. Tits were Stanley's for kids. You know what I meant? I, Stanley <laughs> sippy cup. I got it. Were when we were kids in elementary school, we got uh, boxes of milk, like little boxes. That's of what milk. I just said. I I know. So little boxes of milk. Get to the pitch. I'm losing it. I'm I'm done investing. I mean, I'm not pitching it to you. I'm sick of this. <laughs> what is it? Box of milk. Box of milk. But an adult version of the box of milk. So it's small individualized box of milk, but you can have almond, oat, whatever you want, and you just drink it right out of the thing. I feel like that already exists, that, right? That was your pitch? It doesn't. It doesn't How exist. are you gonna shit on hose water when you literally just took a thing that's already a thing? <laughs> yeah, but it's, it doesn't exist. What do you what, what do you mean? It like, is it milk or water? 
it's motherfucking milk. It also does exist. There's a, oh, a donut shop that I go to in Highland Park that has yeah. individual oat milks. And donut uh, shops have that. Oh, yeah. interesting. Do they have it at fucking Ralph's? What, what would you call it? Dumb milk? Because it's a dumb <laughs> idea. Oh, really? Hose, you just pissed me. Hose, hose water. Hose water. Hose water. Hose water. Back, it has a fucking QR code to <laughs> someone's OnlyFans. Hose water? Bitch. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> do you want equity? But I'm saying, like, if the top was like the spigot mm -hmm. and, and and the bottle was like kind of like felt like that a hose. Texture, that yeah, hose texture, I'm telling yeah. you, it's dumb, but it, it it's got the nostalgic factor. That's dude. You think I make money doing comedy? Fuck no. I'm gonna make my millions off hose water. Isn't it so I'll funny? I'm pulling that up to the Euros. Number one, I'm not even gonna talk. I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna do ad reads for hose water. You make, bro. How was your weekend? Hose water. Ten percent. <laughs> Where the hose at? Promo code hose. God damn. Oh, it's holiday season, and the number one gift you can get this holiday season is Aura. Listen, so what? it's a picture frame, and I set it up. I have it on my house. You I saw, saw it. I did saw it. It's so I, cool. I set up too. And here's the thing: you think it sounds like dated? I, if you do, you're wrong. Because I have one in my living room. It's just some of my favorite moments, favorite vacation. My friends yeah. are on there. You guys are on there. Amsterdam trips on there. Red light district is on there. Uh, what and happened then, to the red light? Can't put on the aura. Man. But, and then in my guest bathroom, I don't know if you saw it. Yes. Now I have a joke one. Mm -hmm. Since they sent me two, the other one is in there. It's just me holding a gun that says, enjoy your pee. Oh, that's funny. With meme font. This is funny. Because life's a meme. Life is a meme. And, and, you, it all, and life is also mean. Meaningful. So, so you can, it's an app, and then you can add photos from your camera roll. Yeah. People can contribute those. It's actually a really good gift for like grandma or your mom because you can add uh, photos to it. You could you could drop it in there, like thinking about you, mom. And then she's like, "Oh my god, she sees a like wholesome shit, or unwholesome stuff with your." Oh, you could. Yep, you could drop dick off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll give you a little rundown. Okay, you start by downloading the Aura app for free, which takes no time, obviously, to get the frame ready. Uh, and then you can present the Wi-Fi on the frame and upload pictures beforehand. So all your grandparents have to do is unbox it, plug it in. All right, super simple. Give the perfect gift this holiday season with visiting AuraFrames.com today and get $30 off their best-selling frames with code SOCKS. Dude, these frames sell out quickly, though, so get yours before they're, they're gone. They're they look like super modern, and like it, it just plugs in, and you're good to go. They're awesome. I'm not very tech savvy and I was able to get that shit running quickly. It's Quit. a great gift for somebody else. So that you can is, load it up. So when they open it and plug it in, it's already yeah. good to go. Buddy, super easy. Foot on my cock. Whoa. So that's Aura, A-U-R-A frames.com with promo code SOCKS. Terms and conditions apply. God damn. What were you saying? Isn't it funny? Uh, funny how good no, this idea is? It, it, no, it's just so funny that people work so hard at, the, at their like actual job and they're like, oh, how much money did you make at your actual job? They're like, X. And they go, well, I'm actually a good job billionaire because I, I invested in micro uh, soft chips, micro blah, blah, blah. Like you're, you make billions yeah. off never your job. Mm -hmm. Like it's like the George Clooney thing. Could drilling dollars, not yeah. acting. I don't know how many times I have to say it. The richest people in LA aren't famous. They're not celebrities. They're not actors. They're not rappers. The richest people in LA, motherfucker, bought oil 12 years ago. Hey, hell yeah. He bought an apartment complex in like 1983. 100%. Like and, real estate shit. Yeah, and they dress just in like, fans. in like a Brooks Brothers in like 1981. They're just wearing fucking khakis, some loafers. They don't give a shit. God. Um, I do think that like the whole thing, you guys have seen these places legs. at the mall. It does have legs, but you've seen the place at the mall that are literally, it's a cereal shop. You can say, they'll say like, oh, do you want Lucky Charms and Golden Yeah, Grams? I want to hate those, but God damn, that's a great idea. Yeah. I, how, so much, I think, how much is that shit? It's probably, probably like eight bucks a bowl. Something yeah, yeah stupid. something insane. Bro, when I go to like a restaurant and they got cereal on the menu, I'm like, if you think, if, if I had a child and he ordered cereal at the restaurant, yeah. whoop, whoop, hit a U-turn. Yeah, you talk about throw a bowl at a motherfucker. <laughs> Great callback. Um, um, wow, holy shit. Dude, yeah. you know what I want to do and I've already pitched on the show and I don't give a fuck if you guys say, are, you already heard this, I got him idea. I want a peanut butter truck. A peanut butter and jelly truck. I yes, mean. great idea. Thank you. That exists. It doesn't. Yes. Oh, it exists. Bro, there's literally like some, like in downtown there, uh, uh, what's it, pu there, public yeah. market? Uh, yeah, the Grand, Grand Central Market. I love that place. Yeah. Grand Central, they, they, they sell like peanut butter jars for like $18. And they're so fucking good. Nothing's better than unsmuckable. What is it called? Uncrustable? Uncrustable. Yeah. Dude, Dude, you talk about something that I would fuck. Bro, if I if I was, if COVID was like another year longer, I would have started piping those things down. I mean, those. <laughs> Dude, those, a double one? <laughs> <I> <laughs> <laughs> the texture on those things, but like when they're when they're frozen, you let them sit out for a little bit, and, Fuck! and the peanut butter is like yeah! hard, and the j the jam of the peanut butter are cr like a little crunchy, but it's like soft on the outside. That shit does something to me. Like, what about an uncrustable? It's gluten free. They don't have them. Well, that's my idea. 
Suck my I'm dick taking it. and Hose call me water. Steven Johnson. Who's that? Who cares? All right. All right. Um, um, yeah, but PB and J LA is already a PB and J. Good here. name. Interesting. Interesting. Let me ask you this: Do they have a fucking truck? Yes. Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't food trucks uh, go around like ice cream trucks? What? Well, because they have to <laughs> park. They have to park in like t- fucking to cook, to cook. Yeah. Ah. Not peanut butter and jelly. They they kind of do a lot of a lot of like corporate offices in like Century City. They just line up out there. True, but they need a song and they need to go through like neighborhoods. You know how many fucking moms would want to buy like a taco? Dude, they should do that with like Merlot. Yeah. And just like through the yeah. neighborhood moms who are all watching Judge Judy start sprinting out. That's the idea. I'm gonna start doing it with Xanax. Bro, if I was just stay- <laughs> you're a drug dealer. That's just drug dealer. <laughs> I'm gonna start doing it with my own cock called what? Glory Hole. What? And just I have you select what cock you want, and the cock just goes through the <laughs> truck, and you dome it off. And then so, <laughs> so they get none of the benefits. No, but you they practice. pay to suck somebody off, dude. Some some women love sucking a dick. Some dudes love sucking a dick. Wait, like it's, you get pleasure from it. You make money on both ends too, because you charge people to get in the truck. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're missing the point. The dick goes through the truck to the outside. I know, but the guys that are in the truck that are gonna get their dicks, yes, up, they're paying too. <laughs> now this is good. Now we're back on track. I'm getting double. It's like the Cash cab. Yes, it's like the yeah. cash cab. Yeah, cash cab. Yeah, it's called vagina van. <laughs> All right, Great. I love it. Yeah, no notes. Well, but it, but it's about head. It, what? It's, it's about sucking penis. Oh, so no vagina. Well, maybe the. Huh. Um. Yeah. A glory. Blowjob buggy. Blowjob buggy. Okay, glory. I didn't get the reaction I wanted on that. <laughs> What's a car that starts with a G? Uh. Uh. uh huh. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> with a G? Yeah, Glory Hole. Oh, oh, oh. Glory, uh, is it Glory Hole Golf? Golf. Glory Hole Golf. Oh, yeah. Glory Hole Garage. Okay. Bro, that All sounds right. like a fun dating show. Yeah. Whoa. Maybe Meals on head. So <laughs> 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 horny his name. He's just a guy pitching that currently hard. Uh, uh, Meals on head. <laughs> Hose water. I, I can't believe you guys are out on it. It's it's I'm like totally, I, it's I don't know if I'm fully imagining what this looks like. Yeah, I got you. All right, go ahead. Picture a hose. Got it. Bottle. So the the copper, that's where I'm lost. Co- <laughs> pull up the copper hose spout. Oh, I got it. I got it. Bro, okay. You know it's fucked up. I wrote this down in my phone as like ideas. Like this could be a thing. Okay, so the because people love nostalgia, the they copper, love to buy a thing. Yeah, the copper pull top it up. on top. Oh no, I understand. I, uh, you, yeah. <laughs> so you just you just put that on top. Uh, is it out? Well, this is just oh, an empty, fuck them. empty bottle. Cease and assist. Who's empty, this? Uh, this Lunchbox. Is lunchbox.com. What are you wow, doing? What it's about to be Lunchbox. I'm Uh-oh. coming for your name. Look up a hose. There's a picture of a hose. Yeah, just yeah, just type in hose spigot, hose spout. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but you. But can I say this? You don't put your mouth on the hose. What yeah, you do? Where are you putting you up your ass? Put your mouth. <laughs> On the hose, yeah, that's you, how you get the lick copper feet thing. for a living. What are you talking about? I kind of do. Isn't that weird, bro? No, uh, but wait, hold, hold so, so you're scared of the ground, but you'll suck the ground off a foot. Hold on, hold on bitch. You guys would bitch. shove it in your. <laughs> have some respect for hose water, CEO <laughs> Keith Johnson. Whatever the hell said. Hold on, so you you put it in your in mouth. In my mouth, like a beer oh. bomb. Yeah, what did really? you do? You you, you, you go you, like this. You let the water come out. Like and go, a water fountain. Oh, yeah. that's why we have a fucking drought because you idiots in Maryland wouldn't put it in your mouth. There's no way you could take all that water. You That's what's so fun about it. You Dude, you like, you like literally. What's fun about it? You like literally. You get would love <laughs> wheels on head. <laughs> <laughs> Is it meals on head or wheels head on wheels? <laughs> That's I think what you're looking for. It changes per month. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's it's better for SEO. It's called, Dude, I'm wheels, telling you. It's called wheels on head. No, no, no. I'm t- it wheels on head. Head on wheels. What's it called? <laughs> what I said. I don't know, but that's the episode title. Yeah. But I'm telling you, that right there. We, so we would put. You can't up, ingest that much water. That was a fun part. You, you would be so. You water yourself? Bro, you, I'm out of breath. You'd be so thirsty that you would like fiend for it. And then you would. From and it had this coppery taste, almost like the hose on the period. Like, this is the shit. I don't know, man. Nothing for that? <laughs> no, dude. I think you have this. I think Bro, this is yours. I'm telling you. If the, Jack, if the, the bo- did you shove it in your mouth? Or did I never you- drank hose water. Oh, you what, rich what, what, bitch. What, 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 what did you drink? What did you do you when you drank out of the thirsty. toilet bowl? What are bottles of tap water? Well, as a kid, you're playing baseball outside. What are you never, drinking? Never. What? You 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 didn't you had to go maybe, inside. Maybe that was like a. Yeah. I, I mean, I think there was a, a cutoff where any person born after X year stopped maybe. doing it. Because Gabe and I are about the same age, right? You're. Yeah. I'm how many different age. years? I don't know. Twenty eight. 
So oh, no, you're close. Yeah, I don't know. But it's just for Philly, me, like, we would just always be playing outside and rather than running inside to get water, you're just water. like, where's the nearest house? Well, because the, the problem is, in my life, the problem is if I went inside, all of a sudden I got to do fucking yard work. Oh, do you yeah. know what I mean? My mom's like, oh, Michael, like, actually, I'm like, You might as well go to the police station. 100%. And your parents are looking at you, they're looking at them. Yeah. Your dad's Googling divorce. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Googling? He's already been gone. I was in the embryonic sack when he was Googling that shit. All I'm saying is if somebody takes hose water, you're going to get hit with a cease and desist. <laughs> Trademark. I'm going to have a cranberry juice. It's going to be called afterbirth. <laughs> you sh miss a great UTI opportunity. No. It's just going to be afterbirth. I don't get it. Do you know what afterbirth is? Yes. All right. That's, it's what looks like afterbirth. Correct. But UTI is cranberry. Okay. You so cranberry juice is just called UTI? UTI, Captain. <laughs> God. Well, you guys, speaking of million dollar ideas, uh, have you Hose seen what water. McDonald's is trying? No. Bring what back the salad shaker. I think I think they're bringing back the snack wrap. I saw that. Yes. Thank God. Where's the double oh, fish fillet in the fuck? Oh, they should put a fish fillet in a fucking snack wrap. They should put a pipe bomb in that shit. That's the equivalent. <laughs> I mean, do I mean most McDonald's have pipe bombs working there? <laughs> 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 so I was zoned out. I was just, I wonder how many McDonald's employees are glocked up. Like Glock on the 18%. Hip. <laughs> uh, Wait, so, what is this? So McDonald's has a new restaurant, a new side hustle called Cosmix. <laughs> I'm out. I'm this out sounds too. like a place where swingers meet. First of all, this it only has one tit. McDonald's always has two tits. Oh, uh, one arch. Yeah, one tit. I'm not going there. It looks like the Jetsons kind of, right? Is that yeah, the whole well, thing? It looks well, futuristic well, for sure. Look at their caption. Greetings, Earthlings. What the fuck? So, okay, so it's like Space McDonald's. <laughs> okay. We're going um, back in time. Well, also, space is not real, so what the fuck are they serving? <laughs> the McRib. So, in a drink. Quote, uh, Cosmics is described as if a McDonald's character from the 1980s that was part alien, part surfer, part I'm, robot were to open No, this sounds like a character description I get on auditions. Who the like, fuck fucking is, make it more condensed. Um, Wait, here's what are their drinks? This is their menu. Um, oh, are they going after, like, uh, Panera shit? I don't know. Wait, I Boost, don't. Does, does Boost have caffeine? It's got to hit, hit left. Caffeine syrup. Caffeine syrup. Why don't we have that in the studio? Wow. Yeah, that's great. What Ooh, are they the boba? Fuck. Actually, I'm in. Um, they go, I'm going to pour like, this on my cat. <laughs> why does it look like it's all whoa, just Whoa, Tumac latte? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, wait, whoa. hold on. Is this, is this just like a, like a Starbucks thing? Um, oh, maybe it's like a Starbucks reserve, but for... So they have this some stuff like that's McDonald's, reserve. just straight McDonald's menu items, and then they yeah, have yeah, but their like, own. like a spicy queso, oh, spicy Jesus. Fuck. Oh god, that actually sounds really good. Spicy queso sandwich. I mean, yeah, all these are gonna make you shit yourself. Sandwich. Yeah, it's McDonald's. That's what the that's the the fun that's of the whole it. thing. Pretzel wanna, bites. Oh shit! Ooh, cookie, cookie butter, butter McPops. McPops. That was my nickname in high school. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, so it does so, look kind so of all that shit. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, go to the drinks up top. I think they're trying to go for a Panera thing. Because Panera had that drink that had 400 milligrams of caffeine in it. Two people died from it. Whoa. <clears throat> Did you see that? A what? Two people died from a Panera drink because it had 400 grams of uh, caffeine in it. Jesus. That's like two Celsius. That's too much. Dude, imagine... This is, Dude, they need to sponsor with a power slap. Bro, this restaurant should, should be called just comorbidity. Wait. That's uh, funny. Fuck everyone for not laughing. Remember when they used to put their diet show on the back of the menu? It was like, anybody give a shit about this? For like legal reasons? People don't care. Literally in the UK, they put somebody with lung cancer on their cigarettes. People are like, yeah, yeah, that's me. Yeah, sick. Don't care. That's <laughs> a, they literally gonna, look at me. That would be a sick yeah, album title. It's going to affect my baby. I don't care. I need <laughs> nicotine right now. But I don't know what uh, market they're trying to capture here. It's like, it's the menu seems like it's like all Maybe over the place. Maybe it's like... Um, like you know how popular like Dutch Bros is in yes. like, Colorado? Maybe it's like that where they like they like the drink space is great because even if you're not hungry, you're always thirsty. That's my new slogan. For hose water? Get one of those. <laughs> <laughs> Island Punch pick me up. Wait, wait, Dude, so, who so wrote hit, the hit the tap names? down on boost. Who wrote the pre-workout shot? Bro, imagine drinking up. this and then hitting the jam. Are you fucking kidding me? What is if you drink this, you're hitting something else? <laughs> Say it. Say it. Your cock. There you go. <laughs> Um, uh, I mean, pretty crazy, right? That you can get a pre-workout shot. In what there? is uh? Bro, what's, like you're gonna see these in the gym. What's that smoothie shop? That's massive pink berry. Um, uh, the one that Trevor worked there, right? Jamba Juice. Jamba, Jamba Juice. juice. It, it feels like they're trying to steal, like steal the Jamba Juice. I think that they were just like we, like what, like people weren't going like dude when when Starbucks not Starbucks when McDonald's had one dollar sweet tea. Oh, it was a fucking era. 
giant ass cup of sweet tea for a dollar. Dude, you know It's only in Illinois. There's also a good chance that this. We don't thing- need more caffeine in Illinois. What the fuck they get hyped up to do? We need more guns. <laughs> Maybe not the last part, but why, why? Why are they testing it there? How did they find that place? Is that like the most like sugar driven city, dude? You you know they test like random fast food at, in like random places. Like the certain and game, maybe you can look this up. There's like really like wackadoo uh, items that like certain. Dude, I fast mean, this food would places. bomb in Hollywood. Nobody would want this. Well, hold on, hear me out. Like there's certain weird, weird, weird like Dr Pepper burgers or something, and they like put it out in like in very like unique places in America just to see if it hits. Yeah, and they're like they're uh, the ideas are crazy. It's like a Mountain Dew hot dog or some shit. It's, I'm serious. It is kind of crazy when a new big chain opens up that we didn't have before. Like when Raising Cane's opened in Burbank, there was a line and there was there police. Still is, yes, dude. but the, dude, the first week it wrapped around the block like twice, and they had cops there directing traffic over for over birds. They're not real. Aren't real. Yeah. <laughs> but that's crazy to me. Like what? Like that, that? That? That's how you know the world is fucking cooked. We're just bored. We're like, hey, hey n- n- new chicken sandwich. I'm in. Yeah. <clears throat> Have you been to Raising Cane's? Yeah, years ago. Was it good? It was uh, pre gluten free days. Yeah, it was really good. Oh, all I mean, right. the thing is, it's phenomenal. But like, are you really gonna wait in that line for like two hours? I would do no. it if it was like I was with a fun group of friends or I was really high or want to make a video about it. But like, I'm just sitting there, like, dude. I mean, that, but I do that shit on the daily. When I see the In and Out line is in the street, I'm like, man, ain't no way I'm gonna sit my dumb ass in that. I'm sitting in that line I every don't. single time. You I'm don't? so or not a line in. guy, I bro. In. I can't do it. What do you do if you're hungry and it's the only thing open at like that hour? I mean, sure. I mean, if I have like absolutely no option, then yeah. Dude, that West Hollywood one is fucked. I well, I mean, that maybe that's why I'm so jaded with that shit because I cannot. I can't believe there's only one Internet in all, like all of LA. You know what I will do though, because uh, it is very fast. Is Chick Fil A? If I see a massive line, I know it's not going to be long. The yeah, In and Out's pretty good too, but the In and Out's line is so long. Well, they lock you in. They take your order in the four hundred five. You know, like, yeah, I guess I'm here now. Yeah, because then you're locked in. You can't dip. I haven't had In and Out so long because of that. I love it. I think it's fucking great. I'll go in sometimes. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah, we've been in a couple times. When was the last time you sat at a fast food restaurant, not in your car, like inside of a McDonald's, like like just went in there, like ah oh, number four, waited, got it, and then took it to a table in the restaurant. I mean, it, alone, that, it, it, alone, any, not um, at the airport. Uh, like I, I mean, I'm I mean, talking about like high school. Probably, years. Uh, no, probably like on the road somewhere where I like if we're like driving in between cities. And I'm just, true, I don't want to get back in the car, or whatever. What What about in town? Or you just never would. Never right, have I sat in, in in dude because now with like with a phone, like I can go back into my car and my and my car kind of turns into a living room. They have there, yeah, yeah, because I can like you have your own AC. My own AC. I can put a, I put like Netflix on my phone, like on the dashboard. I can watch Netflix. It's connected to my my car speaker, so I can hear the. It's like, honestly a better experience. Yeah, it, much better. Well, if you look in a parking lot at In and Out, everybody's just in their car. They go through the drive-through and sit in the car, which is like dude, everybody you, does that. But it's a better experience. If you they also put me out as an In and Out, dude, hose you, water, hose water, dude. They have they should have lot lizards at fucking In and Out parking lots. In and Out. Oh, I wish my, I hope my daughter becomes a lot lizard. I think there's a lot of exposure there. So my point is, <laughs> God damn. All right. Our show today is sponsored by Microdose Gummies, dude. Microdose uh, Gummies deliver a perfect entry-level dose of THC that helps nice. you feel just the right amount of good. Let me tell you something. Trevor and I are both dropping specials, and he already dropped his November 14th on Amazon. So we have to develop a bunch of new material, and I'm telling you right now, Microdosing this little thing she is opening yeah. up the mind. Creativity flowing, buddy. Um, yeah, I'm writing stuff I never even thought I would think of. But it's it's a controllable feeling. Yes, it's not like I'm like bro. to the moon, and I'm standing at my cat be like, does he know Spanish. He might. <laughs> Dude. But it's nice. It, it's comfortable. It feels like a, a back massage for your brain. Yeah. And they you know taste. the trademark. Hose water. <laughs> <laughs> and they taste incredible. And guys, we travel all the time. We have to go in hotels and Airbnbs that are not comfortable. And this really, really helps me sleep. This microdose in uh, little THC really helps me sleep, dude. And yeah. also. They're great. You can fly with them. Nobody's going to, you know, kick down your door at TSA. What are those? I'll tell you what it is. It's it's microdose gummies, and they're also available nationwide. Whoa. And you can get 30% off your first order. And, and, and free shipping. Yo, is this like a crazy Black Friday deal? Nah. They just love you, and they love us, and we love them. And to learn more about microdosing THC, go to microdose.com and use code SOCKS to get free shipping and 30% off your first order. Hold up. Links can be found in the show description, but then again, that's microdose.com, promo code SOCKS. Literally, microdose.com. 
Even if you are just curious, just go to the website, see if it works. It does. What a great URL. God damn. I think if you ever look around at a parking lot, everybody's in their car. Everybody's just in their car these days because car is better than real life. Yeah, but like, dude, I, I like there's times at like certain comedy clubs, I'll just wait in my car. Yeah. I'll go inside and be like, oh, I'm there's 58 minutes yeah, yeah, yeah. while I'm on. I'm not gonna why this is not as fun. Unless like you're there or someone I'm cool with. Right. But like generally I'm like, yeah. do I want to have like weird awkward conversations and like listen to a comedy show? Even or do even, I just go in my car? And it's not even like car specific. You're just like, oh, it's quiet and I have my phone. Yes. You can be on a fucking 03 Corolla and be like, I'm having a great goddamn time. 100 percent it is, it is, it's, it's very comforting to me. Especially, dude, especially, especially if I'm eating. Like, there's nothing that I like almost more than going, like, going to a fast food restaurant or Subway or wherever the fuck and then sitting in my car and I put my seat back, I put it back, right? I jerk off. No, I put it back. Are you getting head? <laughs> you know, I, put, I just put it back. I want a little more room. Yeah. And I just lay everything out on my fucking lap, put Netflix on, whatever movie I want, turn the, the sound up and just, like, indulge myself in the food as I'm watching. And, like, it's just very comforting, and I feel safe. I feel safe in my car. Doors locked. Yeah. AC. I, I, oh, I fucking love it. Yeah, I mean, it's fucking, uh, it, it's just set to you. Instead of, like, literally, what the bench are made out of McDonald's, like, the same as the back of a cop car. Yeah. It's just, like, a plastic. It's also, I mean, like, there, and then there's, there's so many characters in a fast food place like, there's, like, a mom beating a kid. <laughs> there's, like, you know what I mean? Kid beating there's, a mom. There's a kid beating what a mom. What do you mean no breast milk? <laughs> God damn. I, but I will say, like, when I, I I worked on a nursery very briefly. Stop. Well, you better talk. I'm you gonna, better I'm, talk fast. I'm, 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 like uh, with trees? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to do a Michael Blast on. I've told the story before. No, I don't think I have. My best friend growing up, his dad owned a plant nursery. and it, You got to say plant nursery, dog. I thought you meant around <laughs> kids, bro. Why did you say trees then? No, I, this is my guess. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. No, no, fuck that. No, I, I, it was like. you <laughs> <laughs> to be all masculine? Nah, fuck uh, that. Trees. But it was Saturday and Sundays and we get there at like 8 a.m., and I'll tell you what, we were just out there, like just planting, potting, doing whatever, you know, planting shit. But when noon would hit, the thought of Carl's Jr., I would be like erect for it. Yeah. Six dollar burger, I'll pay twelve. Fuck. And and getting your meal and sitting there. Yes. That, like like I that made me pretty like that's when you go and you sit at an establishment. Cause I don't think yeah. you'd want to sit in your car. <clears throat> no. Because it's the summer, it was hot. You're like, I want to sit in like a like there's something about that. Where you're just with the other, like I was with the other guys working, and you're sitting there, you're fucking man spreading, got your dick out of the burger game. Yeah, I'll be playing saplings all day. Yeah, dude. Yeah, that's when it was like, oh, oh yeah, goddamn. You know what I mean? Like that, that's like, like yeah. that. You gotta. I, I think working and then going to a place you'd enjoy it. I guarantee right now, if we went to a bur like a McDonald's, we would fucking enjoy it. Oh, if I throw a sauce packet at a goddamn stray cat. If all of us went, I, that's so, that's fun to me. But I'm not well, gonna it's after sit work. It's after alone. work. I'm just saying, like, if you're going. <clears throat> Like, if you're in between shows and you have yeah. an hour, you're not going to eat inside by yourself. But, like, no. if you just did a bunch of work and then go there. I don't know if I'm going to eat alo uh, alone. I don't mind eating alone. But if I'm going to eat alone, I'd rather car. do it in yeah, my yeah, car. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I think, but to my point, I guess I'm just saying, like, if you're leaving from a job. Yes. You, you, it, like, I don't know. It you just know, feels like a different setting. I you drive yes, a car to yes, your yes, job. Yes, yes, it, yes. It's like, it's a third setting because you go car, job, Restaurant instead of just car job car. Yeah, I worked at this bar barbecue place when I was like 15 16 and it was like a uh, Catering place so that we'd, we'd come like a big truck with all the shit in it And we'd obviously make it with food whatever and we get like a break And I just remember like those breaks I would like and we would cook like good fucking barbecue So I'd have like I'd like amazing like ribs and like and like chicken and cornbread just like an amazing meal I'm starving because we had like you cater some shit like someone's like quinceanera or whatever. You're waking up at five in the morning. Like, oh, yeah. so it's a whole thing. So, and you're toting around all this heavy ass shit, coals and everything. And so that like 30 minutes, I'm just, I would remember so distinctly just going in the back, back, back of the, of the truck bed. To jerk off. It, yeah. Mm -hmm. But just to sit on like a crate alone. And I'm yeah, just like, dude, a well-worked meal. Like, that dog. Shit, that you can taste like, it. Like, sitting down, like, zoning out. It was, like, before yeah. everyone had, like, you know, like 14, the, I have a fucking phone. So I'm just, like, eating, like, baked beans and cornbread. Oh, I was Dude, fucked. like, the difference, the difference of a meal between, like, when we do a podcast. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're like, I didn't fucking deserve this. Right. I yelled about Bluetooth for four hours. <laughs> 
but you but it's like good but like after like a tour date or, or, yes. you, or you did two shows on a saturday yep. and you even if it's like a, like a like a comedy club burger you're like you it just tastes so much better you know what the best time to have a drink is is exactly what you just said like after, after like two after it? like two shows yes you earned it after two shows you're fucking tired Server comes in, hey, I'm about to get out of here. Do you want anything? Well, it feels like, like you just finished running the race. Yeah. Other than that, like it just feels like you're jogging and then eating along the way. But it's like I would rather just wait eight hours. Yeah. Put a caffeine up my ass and then eat. Yeah. Nothing like a good fucking gin and tonic after some good shows. You know, you reminisce, you sit in a comedy club, all the seats are empty. Ah. Yeah. Fucking and head. <laughs> Head on wheels. I I would rather take Taco Bell at two thirty in the morning after shows than head. I, I disagree with you because you literally left us last night at one a.m. Yeah, to go have some <laughs> intercourse. That's You're true. You're telling me if on the way out the door I was like, hey, 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 I got a chalupa on the way. You would have stayed. <laughs> He's thinking about it. I am. Chalupas are fucking fantastic. Dude, chalupa, but I but like no, I hear you. I hear you. You know, hanging out with well, the boys and like getting like food or whatever at like late. It, the the girl I hung out with last night wasn't some like well, wasn't like a random thing but like you know when you're in the road there's nice ladies but you know sometimes you don't you don't, you don't yeah, know them I see so like there's too many variables yeah so like it's just so it's so fun yeah to the only variable to talk about is like oh I didn't want tomatoes yeah take yeah, at them least off. The toma- tomatoes aren't texting you the next day like are you still here yeah I'm late <laughs> 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 wow well McDonald's I mean I'm sure it'll be a thing but whatever no yeah. Well. I mean, I, it I, might I, also literally just be a thing that they invented to do to this one location so that everyone writes about it on the internet. Well, you know? they'll probably do like 10 of them around the U.S. and it'll be like an attraction. The same way uh, Taco Bell has like Taco Bell Cantina where you can get alcohol out of Taco Bell. It's like, yeah, that's great. Dude, that's go not... my lunch break and relax. That is not a good idea. <laughs> the clientele that walks into a fucking Taco Bell at 2 in the morning doesn't need margaritas. They need they water need, and bread. They need community service. <laughs> <laughs> the one on the strip is insane. The Vegas trip, yes. but that makes sense because yes. you're already walking around drinking. Yeah. It's so funny that some cities can just do that, and yeah. a lot of cities you can't. You walk around with a beer in L.A., oh, jail. Oh, Dude, Vegas? In Who Vegas, you show? walk around with pussy for sale. <laughs> like, for sale. You know, you know how, like, back in New York, they used to bark for tickets? They can bark for their pussy. Hey, 50 bucks, and you're not going to get arrested. It's legal. That's Ve- crazy. In Vegas d- does not know what the fuck is going on. I hate Vegas. But you like can't smoke in a casino. I'm like, that's what we're going to draw the line right, at? Right, right. Some this girl's getting, smoking out of her cooter on uh, the 405. Some dude's getting pegged by a fucking stripper named Cinnamon Toast Crunch upstairs. See you? Who? You. What? Pegged. Maybe. All right. I got to try it. Um, all right, guys. Time. Sock talk? Let's do it. Sock. Uh, we have a submission today from Brady who says, Bunch. My crazy ex sent me $40 worth of cookies to try to get back together with that's me. That's not crazy at all. $40 is not that much for cookies. Uh, <laughs> I really? Know that's my, a lot of cookies, dog. It says, uh, I, know, a lot. I know my worth, and if she thinks I will get back together with her for cookies, then she's absolutely right. Um, <laughs> he sent us proof. Here's a picture um, of what, the cookies. What, what did oh, she say? that's actually really what nice, she say? I'm so sorry, Brady. I love you. No, nah, that's actually really nah, nice, man. I feel bad about this. Zoom in. Is this address on there? Yeah, there's definitely fentanyl in those cookies, but that's okay. Oh, yeah, we should blur this. But he can call him from Tallahassee. Let's go. Wait, what What? did what she order? Did she tip? Oh, uh, she tipped five bucks. She's a nice lady. Get back with her. It's a 12-pack. Uh, chocolate chunk, classic with M&M's, double t- Dog, chocolate 12 chunk. cookies are 40 bucks? That's actually crazy. Well, it's 30, 30 for the cookies and then delivery fee and tip and, and all that. Brings it up Sick of it. And then 39. what? A what, uh, house service charge? Oh, they have a tax and then a total fee tax. Why? What? Why, why, huh? Yeah. Where do they begin these fucking additional things? I know we yell about tip every 14 minutes, but I'm fucking sick of it. <laughs> I'm so sick of it. Is that? Who, who, also, 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 who wrote the letter? Did the Postmates guy have to write that? <laughs> oh. Because that writing is not of a woman's. That's a really Women good have the point. best yeah. handwriting ever. This guy, this was written by Fred Flintstone. <laughs> With his feet. I'm so sorry, Brady. I love you. Not even a heart. God damn. Of course you would think that. What? Of course you'd be like, ah, come on. Yeah, is not that even a heart. Maybe on the back there's a nude. That's no, what sucks. No, listen, that's actually listen. that's actually really, really sweet though. Listen, um, it, well, is it sweet. depends on what she did. If she deep throated his best friend. Did it say what happened? She cheated? No, it didn't say she cheated, it just said she was crazy. I would say for the forty dollar range, that wasn't cheating. Forty dollar range is probably like. Wouldn't it be really funny if it was? You suck Brady's dick in the back of the fucking yah yah yah, and all of a sudden you send him forty dollars with cookies. Yeah, I don't think any amount or any 
object could give me back after that. I'm, no, unless it's your sister. Would you get back with someone where you're like, if she was like, all right, fine, yes, I did cheat, but you can fuck anybody and then we're equal? Maybe. Nah, there's no way. Once yeah. you cheat on me, it's fucking over. Because then the moment you're like, oh, I'm going go to I'm gonna go to oh, Bobo. Yeah. I'm going to go to fucking Bobo. I'm going to go to Arco for who? Yep. What's, BMW? Is that, that his fucking name? Is that his name? acronym? Yeah. Ac- Big Michael Wallace. Hosewater. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, the fact that Hosewater is going to make me a trillionaire is crazy. It is crazy. I'm uh, literally... I'm, to I'm having... My this. shit's going to be called... I believe in it. I'm going to put my money where my mouth is. I'm Equity. sick of it. I am going to invent you something called Tick Milk. What? You should do... I'm sick of it as thermometers. That's not bad. I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? Do people use thermometers anymore or do they just do this? Dude, no, they, they used to do that and then people died of typhoid oh. fever and then they <laughs> actually got like real. Dude, Bro, moms Gigi are got, so good at dude, that. Dude, Gigi got a fucking thermometer stuck right up her boot, but her fucking butt got it. And then the, her look on her face, we're at a vet, by the way. I gave no one any context. We're at a vet. I was holding Gigi and the goddamn veterinarian goes, I have to take her temperature rectally. And I was so like, weird. all right, wreck it, Ralph, bitch. And then she just threw it up there. And Gigi went from the Gigi way. Oh, like, like, this is so what Michael be talking about. <laughs> hey, I'm into it. <laughs> um, all right, guys, secret talk. Anonymous submission. Still. Yep. Uh, says, <laughs> one time uh, I let a girl put a hairbrush inside of me with no lube because she Which told me. side? Uh, she told me the condom is lubricated. What? Wait, she, she, the hairbrush was in a condom? Mm-hmm. What side? I, uh, I mean, it's, it's got to be, be the handle, right? Yeah. We got to be the what? The handle. But no. also, the handle would be a great. The handle, you got to hold it with your hand. Damn. that Those pubes be brushed. Yeah. True. Yeah. That's a comb over. That probably comb actually over. feels pretty good, like kind of like yeah. on, underneath your balls right there. Oh, wow. I think I'm back in. I'd rather a shoehorn. Why? You don't know? I don't know. I'd rather a rollerblade. <laughs> <laughs> Um, good. I got, I got nothing on that. I'm fine with that. If you put a condom on I just, that. I just want to know how they got to that point in that night. Uh, probably Molly. <laughs> he's also, he's, he uses the term let her. So it sounds like maybe it was her idea. Yeah, it sounds like they oh, were like. Oh, for sure. I think they were at like a garage sale and got horny and left. Yeah. Would you ever, if you were in love with someone and her like fantasy was to get double penetrated, would you do it? Yeah, me and a vibrator. No. Another dude? Another dude. My God, I don't know. DP? No. What if you loved her, man, and she was like... Here's, here's why I flipped the script. What is your fantasy? What is your fantasy if, you, if some girl you're with for like three years goes, all right, babe, it's like it's your birthday, and like, I, I, like we've, you know, we've, we've been very adventurous in I the, think in like the sexual... a threesome with one of her hot friends. Who, because she always... Like, in you of, can't do a friend. Well, then that's not my fantasy. What's your fantasy? I'm giving it to you. Uh, dude, but do you... Understand after you fucking come and then both of them are sitting right there, you're like, Oh, see you at the barbecue. See what the do white you do? elephant. What do you what do you do? like that? That's, that's how fantasies work. They use it. If your fantasy doesn't get you in trouble, then it's not a fantasy. Yeah. But as soon as Bars. I come, as soon as I come, I gotta be like, fantasy you later, bitch. You gotta get out of here. That's what I'm saying. But what's yours? Isn't that hot? The one because cause you know, you meet the friend. Yeah. You're dating a girl for like a year, and she goes, "I want you to meet my best friend." It'd probably be sooner than that, but she, then you finally meet the best friend, and you're like, oh, yeah, "Hold on, I done chose the wrong one." <laughs> <laughs> but you know, and 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 for whatever reason, you're with that specific woman. You're not with her. Yeah, yeah. you guys maybe she's better personality. It's kind of better for uh-huh. whatever. But for that one moment, yeah, the one hot friend you always think about. Now she's here. Now it's fantasy land. I'm I'm with you. I'm just I'm thinking. What are you, my girlfriend? Why I, are you backing out on I'm this? Think, I'm thinking. As a guy, you think you should be? Hey, hell yeah, fuck yeah, Rumble. Definitely, Brian Rumble. Erlacher. Brian Erlacher is so big. Uh, but what I'm saying is, is I, like I'm just thinking practically after it's going to be a problem. Yeah, I mean that's the same thing for heroin. You're like, oh, this is going to feel so good. I don't know about tomorrow. Yeah, but heroin doesn't look at you and go, oh, so that's why you picked Stephanie? It might be doing enough. That's why you picked that vein? All right, well, what's your fantasy before we get out of here? Um, I want four bitches. <laughs> four. I've been watching porn when there's so many women on one dude's dick, it, they, they don't even fit anymore. It looks like they're playing Twister, but like the best kind. <laughs> Left hand on cock. Do you, you know what I mean? Do, like you're looking but, down on the porn and there's like fucking four heads yeah, and they're yeah, all like, yeah. ah, ah, and they're yeah. kissing and shit. 
I'm hard. What do you wait? But like, what? I will hire them on task rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, do you have enough body to? No, <laughs> I don't have enough body for one. But I'm just saying four at the same time. You know, it'd be so hot if it was everyone was like lined up, and you're like, you just go down the line. Yeah, no, know. no, that's how. But I, one more visual, and then we'll move on. What you, you ever seen those uh, Mr. Beast videos where like if they touch a car and you untouch it, then you can't have the car anymore? That's like my dick. Like if if you it, like what I'm saying is it's not gonna be a full mouth from the dick. It's just gonna be like a tongue. Like it's not gonna be the. Oh, that, yeah. That's yeah, all. Yeah, I, yeah, that's yeah, all yeah, I, yeah. I will have room for. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Just like a, 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 a mother cat lets her cat breastfeed. Yeah. I'm what? telling you, my milk idea is gonna be called tit milk, and it's gonna crush hose water. It's actually not bad. They sell stress balls that are shipped as tits, and they sell. They move. So, so if you did, just tit tit milk. Ooh, what about yeah. almond milk? But it's but it's called yeah. breast milk. It's like a oh oh like a like a al yeah. almond all all great. If somebody steals hose water, I will <sighs> commit arson. Arson's funny. I'm <laughs> on the first day of Christmas. Wah! Just let like, if you find out your ex is in prison for arson, you need to move immediately. Yeah. yeah. Fire's funny. The only thing that gets me is water. <laughs> what? Man, science is a hoax. All right, is that a, is that a show? That a is the show. Live guys, merch. Go grab it. Stiffsocksmerch.com, guys. Uh, I'm very, very happy. We are so, so happy that it came out the way it did. Also, Stiff Socks Plus listeners, you get the exclusive um, merch as well. Uh, just go to the audio feed, and we'll give you the instructions to uh, grab that as well. So, guys, that is it. Thank you so much. Uh, we love you. And until next mother freaking Wednesday, uh, bye. Big old dick.